Hi there, so you probably ended up in this channel looking for ideas about places to go or things to do for your next trip to Japan. And if you're looking for an adventurous and breathtaking activity with friends or even with a whole family, this video is for you. My name is Venice and I make videos about my travel experiences here in Japan. Let's go! So first the location, just an hour and 30 minutes from Tokyo, we drove to Tochigi Prefecture. This is Watarase Yusuichi, a basin with a nature protected wetland which is located in the boundaries of three prefectures, Tochigi, Saitama, and Gumma. It's famous for bird watching and its huge heart shaped reservoir which you can enjoy viewing from above, which is exactly what I did. They said that the atmospheric conditions are ideal early in the morning, so we came there quite early. We also get to witness the inflation of the balloon. So this is me trying to climb on the basket, and this basket can actually carry up to 12 people. This balloon is also the largest of its size in Japan. Once we took off, I didn't really feel a thing. I didn't even feel any drag from the basket lifting off the ground. It was really smooth. We were able to enjoy the full view of Watarase Yusuichi and its heart-shaped reservoir from the balloon at around 2,000 feet, which is around the height of Tokyo Skytree. I thought that it's gonna be windy above, but it wasn't at all. We didn't even experience any turbulence. And this was also during the start of winter, so I thought that it will be extremely cold, but it wasn't. I'm telling you that that burner is really hot. It would feel like sauna if you're standing close to it. Okay, so I'll be honest with you, I'm not gonna lie, I was very scared of the thought of being high up in the air without any safety gears on, or a parachute maybe, I don't know. So the experience really gave me a decent amount of adrenaline rush all throughout the flight. It kind of felt really good, plus the view was amazing. If you're lucky with the weather, you might even be able to watch the sunrise from the balloon. So after savoring the beautiful view from above, we're now ready to land. We were also briefed about the safety procedures for landing prior to takeoff. We had to sit like this to avoid being thrown out of the basket in case of a rough landing. <laughs> And so this is inside the balloon. Yes, we get to go inside of the balloon. This is so much fun, especially for the children. And the size of this balloon is just unimaginable. We also helped out with folding the balloon and honestly, it wasn't that easy, but it was fun. It was a really fun group activity. So one really important tip I have for you guys is checking the weather conditions in advance. It is very essential. So always make sure to check the forecast before you do this activity. The annual hot air balloon race will also be held this coming weekend, December 16th to 18th, 2022. So if you're planning to visit Tochigi this weekend, that will be a good sight to see. Details about this activity will be in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in my next one. Goodbye!